you know, really a lot more energy than I saw on Tuesday. And I think Tuesday was kind of, you know, kind of knocking the rust off and getting back out there and getting with it and, and practicing a little bit. Today was more focused and, you know, a lot more, you know, energy created and guys buzzing around a little bit. So I thought it was really good, even though they're tired. I mean, you're going into your fourth day, uh, you know, doing a lot of football stuff and a lot of volunteer stuff. And uh, I don't think nobody's having trouble going to sleep at night because they're tired. But I thought, you know, effort was really good today. we got some things we got to clean up, which we think in spring, spring ball. So I thought today was really good. You talked about the manual labor that your guys are doing right now to help this community in the afternoons. How do you have to adjust what you would normally do in the spring to adjust for the for the wear and tear that they're getting in the afternoon? It is because they're not getting a break. You know, one, one of the things I think with athletics that you know the general person out there wouldn't realize is recovery. You know, whether you're working out or you're practicing or you're all season in season, it's all about the athlete's body and and how they take care of their body and how they recover from a workout. You know, so when you you take your recovery time and you're going and doing you know three or four hours of volunteer stuff, it, it taxes you out so you know we've had to change this a little bit you know but our guys have held up to it pretty good too you know we're just trying to you know keep them fed good and uh you know just make sure they get enough sleep at night and, and things like that but like i said i don't i don't they have no trouble you know uh, wanting to go to sleep at night because they're tired but uh they're, they're hanging there they're doing good and that's one of the reasons we, we only practice twice this week too you know we we had three practices scheduled and, and we just knocked one of them out and we're not going to get our total 15 practices in and, and we know that and uh but that's not a that's not a deal breaker. You know, you don't draw up, you know, being in spring training when, when you hit tragedy like this. So, you know, we're just uh, you know revamping and doing things like that to to make it more suitable for our student athlete. And um, now, three days that you and your team have been out in the field. For those that aren't here and don't see what it looks like, can you talk about? what the improvements that you've seen in the community and what's still left to be done. Wow, it's just, it's amazing the volunteer work that's been done. And, and we've been a small, small hand in that, you know, and, and it's, it's not going to go away. There's a lot more to do, but it's amazing uh, the debris that has been removed and the repairs that's already been made uh, to places. So, you know, uh, a clap of the hands, pat on the back to all that's volunteered and helped. And, you know, we're just going to need more of that. There's always going to be, uh, you know, we're getting the big stuff out of the way, but there's a a lot of a tedious stuff to do, I think, you know, and it's getting our campus back up. Like today, we're going over to Old Kitty Stone and helping paint and, you know, tape up stuff to get paint and scrape walls, move furniture, and trying to get uh, classes moved back in over there. So there's just a lot of things like that to do, and and uh, like I said, it's not going to be a quick fix, and we know that, but we're in it for the long haul. I think the way our city and our university is, too, is is just continue to do what we do each daily, and then, uh, you know, a few weeks, a few months from now, uh, you know, everything will be back to hopefully a, a new normal.